Hi, so this is video is about my Gogan Ultra. This is an Ultra A6. It is a six string acoustic electric, but it's not typical in that it actually has on the front side a normal electric guitar pickup. And it has a separate output for both the acoustic and the electric. So we're gonna take a look at this guitar. And I think when I was researching it, I was interested in buying one because I love Gogan products. I have a bunch of other Gogan guitars. Uh, I already have a Taylor, but was never really super thrilled with the sound. I so I started researching this one and I had some misgivings because a lot of people online were not loving the sound of it. I uh, thought it was kind of thin or, or whatever. So I'm going to try to show you why I actually love not only the electric aspect of this guitar, but the, the acoustic sound as well. So um, quick overview: um, you've got a three band EQ here, and I might put a little pull out a picture of that um, overlaid on the video. And you've got a volume knob for the acoustic. So if you're running out of just the acoustic, so called acoustic output, and you put the slider in the bottom down, that's the volume for the front side electric pickup, and you just use only acoustic slider, you're only going to get acoustic sound. So this is. Um, be kind of a seagull shaped EQ, you know, higher treble and bass, lower on the mid range. Very flat sound coming out of my speaker. And I've got the um, acoustic output turned up most of the way. Right now I'm running through a 1000 watt JBL PA system speaker. It's pretty neutral. It's meant to carry like vocals, like a whole PA mix. Um, I put it through this one on purpose because it's about as flat as this guitar is going to sound. If I screw around with the EQ a little bit, I'm turning the mid range up. So that's high mid and bass, or high bass and treble, fairly high mid range. If I cut the mid range out entirely, if I put all the EQs in the middle, like halfway up, there's a little notch you can feel there for halfway up. It sounds like this. But I kind of like the, the seagull shaped EQ better. have like a guitar is it's fairly trebly but I feel like it sounds when plugged in sounds more like an actual acoustic guitar the weird thing about my Taylor is that once you it's a 2004 Taylor but once you plug in I feel like it changes the character of the guitar towards something that's not even as acoustic whereas this one I feel like the, the character plugged in or not plugged in is pretty similar like if I turn the guitar off You know, you can tell it's not a full-size body, you know, it's about that thin. But, not horrible sounding for just like playing unplugged, but then when you mix the plugged-in sound back in, it brings in a little more bass. shows with uh, the rock bands I sometimes just have this with a little bit of reverb added right now I'm going direct to the speaker so I can't add reverb because I'm not going through my uh, PA system head now we're, we're going to do is we're going to plug this guy into the Fishman mini loud box which is my favorite acoustic amp and I think you're going to see how it sounds somewhat different so here we go still just the acoustic output only Whoops, hey, I'm a fret high. That sounded beautiful. That's a C-sharp add nine chord you never want to hear again. I feel like the, the loud box does a lot better than a very flat JBL speaker. 
the high end now has more shimmer, even though it's still trebly, it's like beautiful. And we've got some reverb on this as well, which always helps. But if I crank a little bit more uh, bass in. Like the actual character of that. Me outdoes my Taylor. Now I'm making it like even bassier here. In case I don't want so much high end. I play this guitar a lot, Keisha, and I just love playing all day long. Um, this is what it sounds like on some lead stuff through the loud box. It's very playable, has a nice cutaway. So as a mostly electric player, I really enjoy playing this, and I like how it sounds. Um, as an acoustic player, though, as a person who produces music with different layers, I still really like how it sounds to me. Uh, at least run through the right things and process the right way. I don't feel like I hear that thinness or tinniness that other people have talked about. To me, it sounds really great. Certainly all I'm looking for from acoustic guitar layers on like a rock project. But that's not all. Um, it does also have the electric output, so let's talk about that for a second. Because um, that's like an added bonus to an instrument that I already like. So these, it's interesting, this actually does use electric strings. So because you have the pickup on the front, it's a, a electric guitar pickup, you have to use electric strings. So these are, but it's funny, they're electric style strings, but they're the gauge on the acoustic. So this is a 12 on the first string. It's either like a 52 or 53 on the six string. So they're heavy, like acoustic strings, but they, if you buy the ones that are not colored, they are silver like electric strings. These just happen to be the DR red strings that they make that I think are really fun. I just like the colors, especially against the black uh, of the body. I think they look really great. They don't last maybe as long as like a set of elixirs, but when they're new, like these are fairly new, I think they sound great. But here's the thing, it's like if you're using just the acoustic output, you can dial in some electric sounds. So I'm still through the loud box, which is an acoustic amp. I turned down actually the entire output, the acoustic output, but when you only have one chord plugged in, the electric slider for volume goes out through that same chord too. So now I'm using just the pickup on the front using my electric slider. So you can tell it's very, very different than using the built-in acoustic pickup. And now you have two separate knobs up here that control that one. So this would probably make a pretty decent jazz guitar, even through like an acoustic amp. But I feel like doing that with the electric pickup on the front of the guitar gets you much closer to the jazz sound. kind of play around with these. This is like a two-band EQ. I don't know why they didn't give you another three. Um, but you can play around with this and get different sounds out of the electric pickup. Versus dial the other way. So it definitely has a great jazz electric guitar sound um as a as a rock player i kind of wish i had the option of like a bridge sounding pickup but hey you can't ask a guitar to do everything right but without replugging anything i can go back to the acoustic pickup totally different thing right here's where it gets even more fun you can plug the second output into an electric guitar amp that reroutes everything so that the acoustic sound only goes out of this chord 
and the electric sound, the electric pickup only goes out of that cord, and then you can do two things at once. Um, so let's give that a shot here. Oh, I guess before I do that, I should mention though, when you're still in the one plug, you can blend these two sounds together. So it's blending the, the electric and the acoustic sound out of the one chord. So if you go all electric, or if you blend a little bit more acoustic in, it gives a little bit more bite. Or you could go like mostly acoustic, and you just blend in a little bit of electric if you like that sound. But here's where it gets, like we said, it gets really great because we're going to plug in the other chord. This is a, whoops, this is a spark amplifier, a positive grid spark amp over here. So I've got my acoustic turned down, but I'm going to start turning the electric up. And I'm going to put this on like a distortion sound just to see what I get here. So it's a good sounding pickup, it just kind of has like the Sweet Child of Mine kind of sound or the Iron Maiden guitar solo kind of sound where it's really round because it is a neck pickup. <laughs> But you could probably, if you have the right type of guitar rig, you could probably compensate for that a little bit by getting a super trebly patch on your multi-effects processor or whatever. Um, playing around with these electric EQ knobs a little bit. That helped a little bit. To make it a little bit more trebly. But then what's really cool is if I pull the electric slider down and push this one back up, for like one part of the song I could have like and then that fast I could be into that sound which is pretty amazing so what's really great about this is let's say you're a cover band and you're trying to do something where it's a Led Zeppelin song that has a lot of great acoustic flavors but the solo is electric guitar, you could play most of the song like this. And then you could kick on your electric sound for your solo right back again. And the guitar is playable enough, as you can see. I feel like I can do lots of crazy bends and stuff on this guitar. And it doesn't hold me back as an electric player if I'm just using it for a song or two in lieu of an electric. <laughs> play pretty much, you know, anything that I want to play on it. And then if I want to mix, this is, this is weird, if I want to mix a little bit of acoustic into that. Now I have my really awesome acoustic sound through the Fishman and my electric guitar sound layered. And maybe there's some part of a song where the rhythm part on the original records doubled with acoustic and electric, now you can do it both. I feel like this is one of the best $800 I've ever spent on an instrument. Uh, it's about half the price of my Taylor. I like it better both... Well, I, I wouldn't say I like it better acoustically unplugged, but I definitely like it better acoustically plugged in than the Taylor. Um, and it's decent enough to practice on when it's not plugged in. And then when you plug in, I like it a lot. And then you've also got the additional, all the electric guitar sounds that you can either run separately or layered. You can run them all through the same amp, or you can run them through two separate amps depending on how many things you plug in right here. So, really great recording and gig gigging guitar because of all that flexibility. And my opinion is I don't hear any deficits in the acoustic depth of this guitar plug in. I love it. So, there's my um, explanation and review of the Gogan Ultra A6. Thank you for watching. Check out my other, um, I have a playlist on here of my other equipment demos. You check those out. I'm making those more now than any other kind of video. 
And I've also got a lot of covers where I feature multiple Gogan guitars and some of my other favorite guitars as well. So check those out. Thanks.